fact is, that's when you reach down into a hole somewhere. There's a king brown snake waiting there. There's a king brown snake waiting there. Hi, I'm Les Stroud, creator of Survivor Man, and welcome to this session of training and tutorial videos from Sony Creative Software. Now these sessions are designed to show you the techniques and the tools you need to survive your next video editing sessions. The same tools that make Sony Vegas Pro software an integral part of my own production studios. Now these tutorials are meant to not only help you survive a simple little acts like this that get you in the most trouble your next video edit, but also help you refine your craft. These days, digital signage is everywhere. For video editors, digital signage means opportunity because you can use all of your skills to create visually stunning digital signage instead of mundane slideshow graphics. Unfortunately for many editors, the normal video editing tools don't offer any help in getting the job done. But the challenges of working with digital signage present no barrier at all in Vegas Pro, thanks to powerful yet deceptively simple signage tools. In this video, I'll show you how to use those tools to get the job done easily so that you can create digital signage that lives up to the standards of production that come out of your studio. Creating a video that will play on digital signage is really no different than creating a video that will play on a widescreen television monitor or in a widescreen media player window on a computer. That is, as long as the video is going to be presented in a standard format like the 16x9 widescreen format shown here. But there are lots of times when the client wants a digital sign shown on a 9x16 display, call it tall screen, like this. If you need to edit a video into a tall screen digital display, you're in luck because Vegas Pro software features unique tools designed specifically for working on a tall screen project. And even better, they're exceptionally easy to understand and use. Let's walk through the process of assembling a tall screen project now. First, you'll have to shoot the video that you want to use in your project. You need footage that's oriented vertically, but all of your cameras shoot horizontally. How are you going to get the tall screen footage you need? There's a surprisingly old school answer to that question. All you need is a tripod with a head that you can tilt 90 degrees to one side. Mount the camera, tilt it 90 degrees, and then shoot as normal. Well, normal except tilted. Once you've shot your footage, capture or transfer it to your hard drive. Now, start a new Vegas Pro project and add your tall screen clip to the timeline. Place your cursor within the clip so that you can view it in the video preview window. Notice that the timeline thumbnail and the video preview window both faithfully reproduce the video that was shot with a tilted camera. Now, theoretically, you could work this way and finish your project, but that would literally get to be quite a pain in the neck. That's where the digital signage tools in Vegas Pro come in. First, take a look at the video preview window and notice a few things that aren't quite right. Obviously, the video is sideways and we'll address that. But also, notice that the window itself is still configured for a horizontal presentation instead of a vertical one. Since we want to show tall screen video, we'll want to work with a tall screen preview. Also, notice the letterboxing, which indicates that we haven't set the window up in the correct aspect ratio yet. You address both of these issues through the Video tab of the Project Properties window. Click the Project Video Properties button at the top of the Video Preview window. You can set your Project Video Properties to match the footage in your timeline, which in my case here is HDV footage. Or you can set the properties to match your final delivery properties. The easiest way to do this is to choose a template from the template drop-down list. I'll choose the HDV 1080 60i 1440 by 1080 2997 frames per second template from my project. Click Apply. That solves the letterboxing problem. But the window itself is still widescreen as opposed to tall screen. To change the window to tall screen, Click the Output Rotation drop-down list and choose 90 degrees clockwise from the list. Click Apply. Now you have a tall screen preview window to work with. The video in the preview window is, however, still sideways. That's easy to fix too. Click OK to close the Project Properties window. Vegas Pro also gives you control on an individual basis of the rotation of any media that you use in your project. In my case, I need to rotate the media that I've added to this project so that it sits upright instead of sideways. To control your media's rotation, right-click the event on the timeline for the media you want to rotate. Choose Properties from the menu and in the Properties dialog box, click the Media tab. Click the Rotation drop-down list and choose the proper rotation from the list. 
Since I need to rotate my image 90 degrees clockwise in order to orient it correctly, I choose 90 degrees clockwise from the rotation drop down list. Once you've rotated both the project and the media, everything looks just the way it should, and now you can add the other elements to your digital sign, such as your text, overlay graphics, and so on. Assuming you've added everything you want to your signage video, the last step is delivery. In video editing, delivery means rendering the project to a file format that can be played on the intended playback device. You'll have to find out what type of file format is required by whatever device is going to be playing the digital sign file onto the display. There are naturally different systems. One that we've used for our digital signage at trade shows is to play a high resolution WMV file off of a laptop, which feeds video to the digital signage monitor but you may need a different format depending upon how you're playing your video out to the digital monitor. Choose File, Render As to open the Render As dialog box. You should be familiar with this box if you've ever created a video in Vegas Pro. If not, check out the free Vegas Pro Basics tutorial series at www.sonycreativesoftware.com training to learn more about rendering. There is one important option that you need to pay attention to when you're rendering out to a tall screen format like we are here. You need to tell Vegas Pro that you want to use the project rotation that you set up a moment ago for the rendered file. To do this, select the Use Project Output Rotation Setting checkbox. After you've given your file a name and specified a location, click Save to start the render. And that's all there is to it, but I do want to share one safety tip with you. Many times, you don't know exactly how your digital signage monitor is going to be rotated when the setup crew mounts it. That is, when the setup crew goes to hang your digital monitor, they've probably been told to hang it vertically so that your tall screen video works perfectly. But they have two options. They can rotate it 90 degrees, either clockwise or counterclockwise. You may have given specific instructions about which way to rotate the monitor, but if someone makes a mistake, you could end up with a monitor rotated in the opposite direction. So if you rotated your project 90 degrees clockwise, and the crew rotates the monitor 90 degrees counterclockwise, your digital sign will be upside down. So do yourself and the setup crew a favor and render your project both ways. Set your project settings to rotate the project clockwise to render it. Then render a counterclockwise version. That way you're covered for whatever the setup crew does. It's a lot easier for you to load a new file into the system two minutes before showtime than it is to get someone to climb up a ladder and change the monitor's orientation. There you go. Now, I may have to survive out in the wild, but when it comes to meeting my next production deadline, it's Vegas Pro that is my most valuable survival tool. Thanks for watching. Check out more of this series for valuable techniques.